Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am making this video for the purpose of CSC 253 Interactive Multimedia Course This is Chapter 1, Introduction to Multimedia This chapter discusses three sub-chapters They are Introduction to Multimedia Why Multimedia and Application of Multimedia Multimedia is defined as any combination of text, art, sound, animation, and video delivered to you by computer or any electronic or digitally manipulated means. Meaning that if you have a video that is delivered to you by not using digital device like VHS videotape, then the video cannot be called as multimedia. A multimedia project development requires creativity, technical skill, organizational skill, and business skills. This means to produce a multimedia project, you need to have all of these skills, maybe from different person. Now, let me explain the meaning of terminologies in multimedia. First, interactive multimedia. A multimedia is called interactive when the user is given control to the content. Second is hypermedia. A multimedia is called a hypermedia when the multimedia project has linked element for navigations. It means that if the user is free to navigate the content in the multimedia, then the multimedia is called as hypermedia. Number three is multimedia developer. Multimedia developer is the people that involved in the development of a multimedia project. Number four is multimedia project. Multimedia project is the software used in the development of multimedia. The messages that is intended to be delivered to the users and all of the contents in the multimedia development. And last one is multimedia title. Multimedia title is not the title of the multimedia project but it is a finished multimedia project that is shipped to the user by using various platform. Now, we are going to discuss about the type of multimedia. The first type of multimedia is linear multimedia. The reason I show you the poster of Agent Ali movie because movie is one example of a linear multimedia where the linear multimedia is not interactive where user can sit back and just watch the movie or television. Linear multimedia give minimum control to the users. It normally presents from start to the end or even loops continually to present the information. Movie or demonstration video are the common type of linear multimedia. The second type of multimedia is the non-linear multimedia or it is also called as interactive multimedia. The reason I show you the poster of popular game called Mr. Mario because video games requires the player to be interactive in the application. It is user interactive and user are given navigational control in the multimedia. The advantage of non-linear or interactive multimedia is it can deliver complex 
domain of information and the disadvantage of it is users might lost in the massive of information highway or it can be said that when there are lots of information in a place then user may be lost in the massive information and it is normally used to deliver encyclopedia in education training entertainment information kiosk and also games next how to deliver the multimedia content multimedia project can be delivered through online web pages and applications whether by using the computer platform or the mobile device platform in old days the multimedia is delivered through PDAs or handheld devices but the primary media for delivering multimedia are the compact disc or digital versatile disc DVD and also the Blu-ray disc. Please read the further explanation of how CD-ROM and DVD are being operated. CD and DVD normally needs CD and DVD burners, software or hardware to read and write the data. Now we are going to discuss why we need multimedia. First of all, because of the retention rate. Studies has indicated that if you are stimulated with audio, you will have about 20% of retention rate. Retention rate is how much time that you can focus on something. With audiovisual, retention is up to 30% and in interactive multi multimedia presentations where you are really involved, the retention rate is as high as 60%. Second, because multimedia is easy to use. Third, intuitive interface is possible to be provided by using multimedia project. Number four, user always have immersive experience when using multimedia, just like while you are playing video games, where you are deeply immersed in the experience of the games. Next, multimedia can provide interaction and retention. Multimedia also can provide better understanding where multimedia can illustrate something in video and animation form. It is cost effective. And lastly, multimedia can provide more fun. Okay, now let's just discuss about the applications of multimedia. Most multimedia projects reach the homes via television sets or monitors with built-in user inputs. The application of multimedia in home provide movies on demands, games, instructional videos on certain activities and so on. Next, multimedia always can be used in public places where multimedia will become available at stand-alone terminal or kiosk to provide information and helps or the multimedia also can be served as a system. Next, multimedia always being used in business, where business applications include presentations, training, marketing, advertising, product demos, databases, catalogs, instant messaging and network communication. And lastly, multimedia can be used in schools or education. Educational software can be developed to enrich the learning process. It can move away from the transmission or passive learner model of learning 
to the experiential learning or active learning model. These are the examples of application of multimedia. They are digital video editing, newspapers and magazines, games, groupware, online shopping, interactive TV, multimedia courseware, video conferencing, video on demand, and virtual or augmented reality. We need to discuss on virtual reality more because it is an extension of multimedia. It uses the basic multimedia element of imagery, sound, and animation, but it requires terrific computer's horsepower to be realistic. In virtual reality, cyberspace is made up of thousands of geometric objects plotted in three-dimensional space. The example of uses of virtual reality are flight simulators, surgery simulators, and also the computer control simulator to teach the intricate loading and unloading of all tanker and container ships in Maritime Academy. It is also used to treat the acrophobia or extreme fear of heights patients, where virtual reality is used to train the phobia away with realistic simulations. That is all for Chapter 1. Thank you.